Telling me, there's a, there's a serious $100,000 offer on the table. What? I don't know what it is about these UK cars. They're always coming in here smelling crazy, musty, like cigarettes. Good morning. We're wrapping up radiator install in the Brabus K8. But this car did start off as a CL55. Lewis reverted the pulleys and stuff back to stock, right? Mm -hmm. Which I think is part of the Brabus modification that the underdrive, the uh, the crank pulley, you know, for the extra power. What have you done to it then? Just the radiator? Yeah, I've only done the radiator. I mean, this thing needs a full service front to back. I mean, it, it's leaking everywhere. Not just the coolant dripping. I mean, there's like oil leaks. So when I was at the dealership, my uh, mentor taught me a kind of a cool trick that I like. He said a good rule of thumb is if you can on this drive shaft and you don't see any movement at all your transmission mount is collapsed and it's time to replace it and then if you look at the flex disc it's starting to tear all around the bolt holes i don't know if you can see that so with these cars we'll probably put like the black series engine mounts on the black series transmission mount because it's such a good upgrade for the car i mean i'm running them on my c43 and it really makes a difference as how smooth the car feels when you're driving it Trying to get a feel for the like how big the pain is and how deep how much I can go with the the correction, you know. Like I really want to get this scratch out of this hood, so I'm just going all along this right now. Like right here is not bad. I, I know I could get from here to here for sure. And it starts going a little lower over here, like we're at five mil. A little bit of playing room, you know, you can be at around four mil and be good. Like four mil is about what you want to be at to, to even do work on. Right, like saying? that's the that's, that's the like, lowest. Right, exactly. So right now we're at five. There's some spots that are at six. So I'm gonna just finish buffing the hood and then like all this I'm gonna mark out all the spots that have like deeper scratches and I'll focus on those spots later on. So that's what we're doing. There was a lot of like debris and just nasty junk in the radiator and the engine. So I'm just running straight water and then we'll do a couple flushes of the system and then we'll put in coolant and have it set up proper. But for now, just water. Oh yeah, you just do enough cycles until you feel like it's clean. You can see all the dirt and debris on the sides, right? If I bring the Maybach to the shop, we can do over there so you can start doing that. Uh, we need to change the um, shifter. Mm. Yeah, it's bad. And yeah, I have the new one over there. Yeah, just drain this thing. Uh, I'll let you know, I'll call you. I gotta go there and see what else we got in there. We bring it over. Make sure that I would the, change. I would change the back to the collective though. The collective cannot intersect with any of the star logos. Yeah, but I like the star pattern a lot. It's hard. You have to yeah. die sublimate that. I mean, listen, I can wear that and people will love mm. it. That's hard. I like yeah. that. The next one. Yeah, I like that. I would do a, a white with the um, shiny with the metallic. Yeah, yeah, with the shiny. That's hard. Yeah, that one is hard. I like that. Yeah. Khalil Nabil with the blue galwing. How much? Actually, he, he, uh, at, 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 at the beginning, he said 500,000 riyadh. Just look at this. Show me, King. Daniel, come see this. Oh, wow. It's nice. I like it. It's beautiful. Siara Halwe. Siara Halwe. Wow, look at the hood. I didn't see that. It's nice. Very clean. But the shagil or no? A little bit on the seat there. What are the wheels? I like the color. In wheels are wrong. That blue was the white. It changed the wheels. And it doesn't have it right now. He changed the wheels. 
has a blue dot, has a blue. Uh, How many miles will I Yeah, Adesh Beijing. SGS. It's running, huh? Yeah, it's running. SGS, uh, blue SGS. I offered 100,000 on originally. That's way too much. No way. No deal. Okay, and then. But it's not a wide body. It's no, just a it's regular. Not a sport. Good, there's, there's no wide body. Better value 100,000. There's no, yeah, there's, there's no yeah, wide body. The bodies. interior looks mint. The it interior is mint. looks absolutely gorgeous. So it's a manual door? Yes, it's better. Okay. It's better. Yeah. No break. It's, yeah, yeah I, I can tell. Yeah. Are they exposed? Oh, oh they're no. hidden. No, they're hidden. Oh, they're so hidden. it might be a later one. Yeah. A lot of later cars didn't have electric. A lot of people don't like I know, them. I know. Yeah, but the doors are very heavy still, you know? So, I'll make I, I rather, at this point, because of my experience, I rather have manual. Yeah. Because it'll never break. Yeah, Every but day, listen here, with a, with a linear motor nowadays, with modern technology, you can make it a lot smoother. Serious $100,000 offer on the table. 100 for this car, and they want other cars, but we don't want any other cars. This is a Mercedes. Okay, thank you. Habib al Yang, Yallah Lama. Anthony, where did this car come from? Germany. Umfeld uh, Wolfsburg, my area, that area. Went up uh, in December, one day before Christmas. Uh, we'll share some footage of that. Picked up this one, it's a cash deal. Hilarious, honestly. Um, when driving it back to my hometown, I had to drive through the snow. So uh, with those white tires, it's very, very dangerous. But um, yeah, she seems to be at home in Florida now. Interesting history on this. It's one of the press cars when this car was uh, unveiled at the IAA Auto Show in Frankfurt. Overlap it. And yeah, finally, the Moon King. I got it. Japanese mystery. What is this, Victor? It's a 190E with a carrot kit on it. Uh, the whole kit is carrot. The interior, not so much, but. Cool car. Trying to take out my kneecaps. Man, this car was really driven, huh? Mechanically, this car is... Mostly good. I think steering and suspension need some work there, maybe on the exhaust as well. But uh, engine runs and drives perfectly, so slightly gets hot. That's just probably because Florida heat is different than the German climate. And a uh, new uh, sensor, so it could probably do it well too. Some of the 2 3, 102. Coilovers, aftermarket uh, ignition coils. Needs love. But overall decent, no major leaks. Right now, I'm just, these are the radio receivers for the CE, so I'm just dusting them off, wiping it down, cleaning it up before I put it back in the trunk. And then I was just over there working on the G-Wagon, cleaning the wheels, the undercarriage, all that. So I'm just jumping between the two right now, getting them going. Last week I started on this one. Wow, we had to put the G-Wagon hood to get painted. Y'all know about that. Did like all the, the paint correction, swirl removal. So right now, the paint is looking great. The only thing that's left to do with this one is really just put some wax on it. Get it real, real shiny and popping. I don't know what it is about these UK cars. They're always coming in here smelling crazy, musty, like cigarettes. I don't know what y'all doing out there, but take care of your cars, man. <laughs> so we got the ozone machine in here. Gotta get that all odorless, you know what I'm saying? So we're working, man, we're working. Between the two cars, we're getting them going. Should be like a couple days, have these out of here, bring two more in and just keep moving man rick ross car show we coming man we coming the old chevys all these old muscle cars all these old school shits but we got old school benzes bro like vintage benzes less 
not forget is Patina Collective, you know? So when you see some Patina on these cars, it's meant to be there. Don't forget that. This Brabus right here, Mercedes is bringing by two batteries because it's just been sitting in the showroom. The shifter's already programmed, initialized, all that stuff. Um, I'm just putting back on some small panels and then the interior's good and the car's good. So those two cars are gone today. You just swap them out? Yeah. I mean, they were dead, you know, you had to jump this car. Somebody stole this phone. Oh no, the phone is up here. What? Did you want it? What? Fully nice. charged, ready to go. Period, correct. Oh, of course. Everything was good on the Maybach. The control panel held. Everything looks really good. I'm gonna give it to Julio and then it's gonna go back to Victor. Um, one thing I noticed, in the cluster, you, you're getting a TPMS warning saying that it needs to be activated. And I think one of the um, one of the sensors is going bad. Dude, it's literally perfect. I mean, come on. overheats and then the temperature sensor fails so it looks like it's overheating but when you put a thermometer to the radiator and the engine block this thing is like cool as ice we said this should be good like three or four times now this thing is such little miles it's like every time we take it out something new breaks but we want to be able to take this you know up and down beach cruises and personally why i would buy a higher mileage benz over a low mileage Touch up. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, it's perfect. Thank you. Yep. And I'll put I'll put some uh, sealant on that. I don't have a plug big enough for that, but I'll put sealant on it. We got Gabriel here from Restore FX. He's gonna be working on the Brabus Maybach. How are you doing? What he does? You want to explain to them what you do exactly? I do clear code restoration. If you see this fading car uh, right there, it's gonna be coming back full of shine yeah so he basically and brand new. he basically sands a thin layer of clear coat off just before you get to the paint and then he puts on the special we're not going to tell you what the special ingredient is but <laughs> it comes out looking amazing guys so stay tuned Crank position sensor and it overheats. Yeah. So now the temperature will just keep going up. Okay, mm -hmm. so we gotta take this one first. Yeah, yeah. leave it and then come back for that one. Yeah, yeah. this one, let me pull it out. Yourself, man. Yeah, no, the, the, you you did a hell of a job. Now and now it's time to what ceramic coat it. Ceramic coat, yeah. exactly. Ceramic yeah. coat. Yep. This you, you got to touch. Yeah, it I'm getting the touch of paint for this. Now, when touching this up, right? I right, would or, no. I how would, would you? I would touch it. Uh, you know, p fill it in with paint. Mm -hmm. Then a little wet sand it just a little bit after it cures. Okay. Totally. So you got you want to fill that white white you know you want to fill that in well i mean you can see how we prep okay. the car but, but as I, far as doing the, the as far as doing the application and stuff i, I can't well it's a franchise they're not you're you. not allowed okay. Uh, okay. okay but you can see how we prep the car right. yeah Something. So you gotta go deeper. So I gotta go a little more deeper okay. because he has 
like on this you can't see because it's gray right. but he has some maroon color cars there that you can see the freaking oh yeah like no at the show at yeah, the show yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. it's, it's, uh, it's uh, insane no yeah absolutely yeah. Yeah, in the green zone. Satinado, the place to go. If you want your car done right. 